Hey guys, it's me, Skelty. Welcome back to College Adventures. And this is the plan. Alright, I'm gonna show you this. This might be a little bit of a long video because we're gonna be explaining everything that's gonna go down. So, buckle up. I'm at a desk right now. And I just finished drawing this map. It's a map of the north wing of Bed Mountain University. And I'm gonna go through it. I've got my handy dandy Elder Wand Harry Potter toy as a pointer because I couldn't find anything else. And let's get into it. First off, this is the common area and the dorms. This is Tim and Incas's dorm, and this is my dorm and Tarsus's dorm. This is the closet, which is Spy HQ. There's also other dorms, and it connects directly to classroom one, which is an unknown zone because it's a teacher. And then classroom two, which is Edward the Train's class. This is dangerous, and it can go right in here. Next, this is the main hallway with lots of traffic. It goes to the south wing, goes to the east wing, and it goes to assembly room one. This is classroom three. This is an important part. There's also the dining area with the kitchen, also important to the plan. Lots of people, it's crowded. And then finally, here's the electrical room, which has the possible location of Salty. Now, if we look at this key, an asterisk stands for a safe area. For example, Tim and Incus's dorm, Tarsus and I's dorm, Spy HQ, several, um, this big closet right here, which is a possible hideout, and the possible hideout base of operations in the kitchen are all safe areas because we know who's gonna be in there when and what exactly is gonna go on. Next we have X's, which are danger areas. The main hallway is crowded and Edward could come through here, as you can see from these green lines, possible routes of Edward. Lots of traffic, dangerous. Common area, Edward could come through here, dangerous. Obviously Edward's classroom is dangerous. Edward the train, could also be in the electrical room. Also, that's where the spies are. Dangerous. Um, dining area. Lots of people. Edward the train could also come through here. Dangerous. So those are the danger zones. We've also got a lot of question marks, which are unsure. The classrooms that aren't Edward the train's classes are questions because we don't know. These dorms right here, we don't know who's in them or when they're going to be in there, but we're pretty sure that they're going to be safe. So those are question marks, but we're not sure yet. There's lots of other question marks of areas we're not sure of quite yet. Now let's look at the plan. The red line stands for Tim and Incus, and the blue line stands for me and Tarsus. Tim and Incus will come out of their dorm, and Skel um, Tarsus and I will come out of our dorm, and we'll meet in, com in the common area. That's step one, in the common area. And we have to plan accordingly at the right time, based on what T Edward the Train is doing. Then, once we've met right in this area in the common area, we'll come through here and into this dorm. Why this dorm, you ask? Because check it out. There's a secret passage right there. It's a big hole right in the wall that goes straight into this here closet. We go through the passage and exit the closet. And depending what's going on here, we could go through, exit the classroom, and step four is avoid Edward's class. Normally, we just cut right across, across the hallway and go straight to the electrical room, but Edward is right here. He could be here. We need to cut away from his class. Then we enter classroom three, which is an unknown, but we're pretty sure it will be safe. So we sneak across the classroom and go in this big closet, and we create a forward operating base. The kitchen is the backup, and you'll see why later, but this closet is where we'll set up the base camp. We come through here, exit it, and then we scope out the scene. If the electrical room is clear, we move in to investigate and check out if Salty's there or not. If it's not, we return to the closet, kitchen, or spy HQ, whichever one we need. And we regroup and think of a plan. And if it's clear, we move in and we locate and rescue Salty. But there's a slight issue. We don't know where Salty is going to be. I mean, where Edward the Train is going to be at all times. Now, Edward the Train is most likely going to start in his class. There's pretty much a 95% chance he's going to start in his class because this is going to be 
not too not too um late after classes end for the day. It's about the time when people will be getting out of classes and the teachers will be cleaning up. He's probably going to start in here. And there's several possible paths he could take to get to the electrical room. The first possible path is the most obvious. He could just exit his classroom, cut through the main hall, and go straight in the electrical room. That is the most likely path. But he's probably a secret agent, so he might want to throw off his trail. He might come through here, but except he goes up into classroom three, like we were planning to do. And he could go through here and then go to the electrical room. He could also do a very um, unlikely path, but also a dangerous path. He could come through this common area where we are supposed to meet and go all the way through here and exit and go up through the main hallway to the electrical room. And finally, the longest but also most complicated, most unlikely, but the most clever path for Edward to take is to cut through the common area, go out into the main hallway like the other path, but instead cut through the dining area, go all the way through it as far as he wants, and cut all the way around the main hallway into the electrical room. All four of those paths are likely. Some are more likely than others, though. We're, th we're thinking he'll either take um, this main path, or the path through the common area and up through the hallway. The other two paths are extreme. They're either all the way at the top or all the way at the bottom, so we think they're kind of unlikely. And that is why we have multiple possible bases. If Edward chooses to go up through classroom three, it's going to be dangerous for us to be in this closet, especially if he decides to stop and talk to this teacher or whatever. Or if he comes up through this... um most likely path, it could also still be dangerous if we come out this way and accidentally run into him or something. He could be suspicious of us. So, that's why we have the kitchen as a backup. What we're going to do is wait and see. Once we move into this dorm or get into classroom one, we're going to watch and see what Edward does. If he goes out this exit and starts going to one of these, we'll cut through here behind him and make the base in the kitchen because it's still easily accessible to the electrical room. If he comes down through this common area to one of these lower pads, we'll go up through classroom 3 following the original plan and go into this closet. Easy access in. Basically, whatever Edward does will build off of that. Now, we may have this brilliant plan. We may have everything we possibly could predict, predicted, everything charted out. But the one thing we cannot determine is specific times of when people will be where and what they will be doing and how long they will be doing it. Tim and Inkis or, Skel or Tarsus and I could come out of our dorm and Edward could be crossing through right in the middle of it. Or he could never leave his classroom. Maybe we could get there and Salty might not even be there. So this is just the most likely things that we think is going to happen. Now, they didn't say Salty was going to be in there today. They said the next day, tomorrow, is when Salty is going to be in the electrical room, and they're going to do whatever the heck they wanted to do to him. That's tomorrow. So for now, we don't know what we're going to do. And I know this episode of College Adventures is dragged on, but we were just covering every detail of our plan, so you guys aren't confused. We are going to probably disguise this as like some kind of notes sheet. There is something on the back that we can make disguise look like notes or something. And then we're going to keep this as the plan as we execute it. So I'm going to tell this to Tim and Incus. Tarsus helped me create this plan, so he already knows, but Tim and Incus don't. We're going to relay it to them. This episode is nine minutes, so I'm going to sign off now. Sorry for the lengthy episode, but I hope you guys like the plan. Just one last look at this massive map before I sign off. Ah!